Christmas is right around the corner, and my favorite decoration has always been nutcrackers. So in true Jairus of all fashion, I'm gonna make a giant metal nutcracker that's the most powerful the world has ever seen. Traditionally, a nutcracker is just a lever. When you lift up on the tailcoat, it opens the mouth, you put a nut in, push the tailcoat down, it cracks the nut. But if the mechanism on mine was just a lever, that would be simple and boring. I could use hydraulics to power the jaw, and that would be super powerful and crush just about anything. But that would be expensive and really slow. But I want mine to be fast and crush stuff like whammy! And I think I've got a plan for that. My design is inspired by a pretty simple tool called a treadle hammer, but I'm gonna flip it upside down and then turn it up to 11. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters for making builds like this possible. Links in the description. Minimum force, test one. Having a heavier hammer can give you way more force when you're smashing stuff. This is my homemade hammerhead. It's made out of two by two tubes that are currently hollow. And right now it weighs about 13 and a half pounds. But if I need to, I can fill these with lead and get it up to almost 38. The hammer handle is attached here. And this is moved by the cables that run down and attach to the foot pedal right there. This is a constant force spring. And unlike a compression or extension spring where the more you compress or extend it, it takes more force to go further, this only takes 40 pounds to unroll no matter where you're at. It's like a giant version of the spring that's inside of a tape measure. Most of the treadle hammers that I've seen only have hammer travel of about 90 degrees. With this, because I'm using the constant force spring, it just barely takes the weight off the hammer. That way I get an extra 90 degrees of travel back to here to be able to swing a full 180. This is the cool part. As the hammer moves down, the constant force spring loses leverage over the hammer. And since it's only 40 pounds a pole, once it reaches the point where it's crossed the pivot, it doesn't have any effect on it hardly at all anymore. And the pedal, counteracts the weight of the hammer. That means that all of your force is going into striking the object at this point. Whatever I put in the nutcracker's mouth is gonna get smashed really good. This nutcracker is gonna be huge. This is the top of its mouth. And with the stuff that goes on top of that, it's gonna be almost seven feet tall. We came up with the idea for this project when we were shopping for supplies at Hobby Lobby. Whoa, look at all these nutcrackers. Do you think they can actually crack nuts? Doubt it, they're made in China. We should do a build video where you make one that actually works. That'd be cool. We could make it out of metal. And make it like three feet tall. If we're gonna do three feet, we might as well make it life size. If it's that big, you could probably put some type of ratchet system in it and make it really powerful. We should just make it super powerful. I could use hydraulics or pneumatics and then levers and stuff. Could run on a fission engine. Man, I could even put tungsten crackers in the end of it. It'd be awesome. Whoa, calm down. You're gonna knock over all the nutcrackers. Let's not make this too complicated or we're gonna end up with another mantis blade build on our hands. Yeah, you're probably right about that. But it should definitely at least have a simple system that allows it to smash real good. Yeah, make it smash real good. I really wanted to give you a Christmas present. And because I 3D modeled this, I can. Because I took that 3D model, turned it into Peppacura files, and made it available on my website, jarisval.com, for free as my Christmas present to you. Link in the descripto box. It's all put together and it's recognizable as a nutcracker, but it's gonna look so much better with a paint job. And I got this new technique. It's gonna go really fast. Are you ready? Yep. Cool. Uh-oh. Well. I think that looks pretty good. You got all that? Yeah, yeah, I got it all. I did not drop the camera. What? 
In reality, this actually took a really long time to build. I've been at it almost non-stop for the past two weeks, but it was totally worth it because this thing is fantastic. I couldn't be happier with the result. And I was really excited about having the world's strongest nutcracker because no one's ever done anything like this before. But just a couple hours ago, Stuff Made Here uploaded his world's strongest nutcracker video, which makes this a little more interesting because now I've got competition and we get to see whose nutcracker is actually more powerful. Before we find out how powerful this thing is, I wanna do something that I know Stuff Made Here can't do with his nutcracker, and that's crack a nut without completely turning it into dust. Because the hammer moves 180 degrees, the mouth can't go with it. So this is a mouth plate. So as the hammer comes up into the crushing area, the back of it catches on this bar, and it lifts this plate up with it so that the mouth and the beard move together. Plus, that solves the issue of having to suspend something in here. I can just set what I wanna crush on the plate, like this walnut. After indulging in the first cracked walnut from Nutty the Nutcracker's giant jaws, it was time to move him to the test location, which it turns out is a task easier said than done. Seeing as the behemoth stands seven foot six inches and wouldn't fit through any normal human door, at least not vertically, but the duo eventually managed, and as they dragged Nutty into position, a Christmas miracle happened. It started to snow. Butternut squashed. <laughs> That shot really far away. There's watermelon over here. <laughs> That's super smashed. Whoa, it shot like 30 feet in the air. Did we crack the nut? I don't, I don't know where the nut's at. There it is. We didn't crack the nut. <laughs> In order for you to see the impact on the nut, I had to remove the mouth plate, but then there's nothing to put the nut on, so it is now super glued to the face of the hammer. I cracked one nut real good, but can I crack two at the same time? Very happy with my nutcracker. It smashed real good. Cracked two nuts at the same time, which in my mind makes me the winner of this unofficial competition that Stuff Made Here isn't even aware is happening. Which one do you think was better? Mine or Stuff Made Here? Vote in the comments. And next project is another ugly Christmas sweater. And not your average ugly Christmas sweater. Check out these two videos to see how crazy these projects get. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.